I know, Trenton, when you and I were going to high school at Westside in the mid-1980s, we would have these things called open mods. Remember open mods? That's when we could leave yep. campus and uh, go get lunch or whatever. And when I was at Westside, one of my favorite places to go get lunch, um, and you could only do that as a junior and senior, so as a sophomore, we had to sneak out. But um, I would go to B&G's Tasties over on Dodge. Um, when it went away, a lot of people were sad, but it's coming back. And we have with us the owner. Nick Bartholomew, who is uh, resurrecting that brand, going to be here at Nebraska Crossing. Nick, welcome to the show. Hi, guys. Thanks so much for having me. Good, good to have you here. So give us a little background as to how B&G's uh, is coming back to life. Yeah, you know, it's an Omaha favorite. So it really was something that was an easy decision once we heard that it was <clears throat> kind of having some trouble and the owner had kind of you know, felt that it was time for him to do more other work. And so when I approached Eddie, the original or the last owner of B&G, uh, we started having that conversation about what it would take for B&G to come back, what we could do to kind of resurrect it. Was Beverly Hills Plaza the right spot for the resurrection? And so those conversations progressed. Um, Eddie stepped back. We purchased B&G outright with the group of investors. Uh, and ever since, I think it was right before the pandemic, we've been kind of masterminding its return and figuring out, you know, the strategy behind uh, the, the return of an Omaha classic. So here at Nebraska Crossing, it's going to be on the northwest corner of the center. Correct. And um, Rod, you've even installed a, uh, like a patio and a drive through lane. It's the former local space for people who are familiar with what used to be here. Yeah, no, it, um, the drive through I think, was a pretty good idea because I think that'll easily add another million dollars in sales volume to the next brand here. And that was an easy fix for us to get done. And I think as you look at people coming home from work, I mean, it's just super easy when you're you got a car full of kids to so just pull through the drive through and buy your dinner for the night. So we're, we're looking forward to having Nick have a really great customer experience for us. And uh, Nick, how will this restaurant be similar or different from uh, the original B&G's? Menu tall the same. ceilings for one. <laughs> <laughs> it definitely has taller ceilings. Yeah, I mean, that's such a great question. I mean, I think really the iconography that goes along with B&G and the loose meat sandwich is something that's, you know, historical. And, you know, as of right now, the class is 73 um, at Westside has already booked uh, some part of their reunion to come back here. And we're making them shirts and kind of getting them involved. So really, you know, that's the basis for everything is what Omaha's past was. I think that the new generation really isn't uh, as caught up on what a loose meat sandwich is as the older generation was. Uh, so we have some surprises for them. We're doing a chopped cheeseburger, for example, that kind of is a play uh, for the 21st century on a B&G that I think that'll draw the B&G might bring you, but the chopped cheese is going to keep you. Uh, the ice cream is all new. We have an alcohol-based ice cream and a regular-based ice cream, so dad can enjoy a bourbon caramel soft serve cone while the yeah. kids can order a sundae. You know, and so I think that really the pieces that we're putting around uh, what B&G meant to the community and the menu that we're bringing to it and kind of installing around it is going to be uh, really what propels it forward. I have uh, fond memories of, of B&G, and especially I have to give a shout out to my old friend Joe McAllister. And Joe McAllister was a special guy that went to Westside High School, and I met him through a, a group called Peer Advocates. And and. People that were regulars at B&G will remember Joe McAllister. He was a guy who was a busser. He'd clean tables, and more importantly, he'd, he would play uh, fake catch with the, with the kids and, and cops and robbers. And um, He was just a really, really neat guy and, and a happy guy. And the McAllister family um, got him employed over there and, and did a great job. And everybody loved Joe uh, at, at B&G. And so we're excited to to uh, see this uh, come back to life. You know, uh, Nick, I'm looking here at this uh, space that within the next week or two will, will be B&G's, and I see a window. You know, we have the drive through in the back, but I see a window, a serving window, um, out to the pedestrian part of Nebraska Crossing. Will you be putting ice cream through the like a, a walk-up window? Absolutely. So that's kind of our niche, you know, to, to fit in with all the other great businesses here at the Crossing and kind of serve the public who may not know what B&G is or want to head to Gap or Nike or wherever their, their destination is. The window is, um, you know, an opportune way for them to kind of grab some quick service stuff. If they want the ice cream, if they want a quick French fries, if they want something that <clears throat> is on that express menu, they can get their number, they can stay in the mall, they can still enjoy what the mall has to offer, but they can submerge them, submerge themselves as much as they want in the B&G experience and hopefully uh, hook them for a later visit. 
If you like this video, be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons. And remember, Grow Omaha is not just media. This is a mission. We are trying to build up Omaha and make it an even better place. We can only do that with your help. Share this video with your friends, neighbors, and family.